10 Worst Crypto Scammers Currently Rotting in Jail Stefan He Shin Stefan He Shin is quite a charming man who can make nearly anyone fall for one of his schemes. Even the judge of his case noted that there was an element of charm to him that she had to be strict to not fall for. Even though this Australian man may be able to come off as innocent and harmless, he's really one of the most notable crypto scammers on this list. Shin managed to dupe investors for over $54 million in his scheme from 2017 to 2020. The ironic thing about this scheme is that he managed to lure in investors with promises of safety and security. He funded two cryptocurrency investment funds, VQR and Virgil Sigma, where he was able to orchestrate his scheme. In a sense, Shin got a rush from the money he was making while embezzling funds. Since being charged, Shin has admitted that money and fame aren't important to him. He has apologized to his victims and accepted his punishment as something he deserves. So how long is Shin in jail? In September of 2021, it was announced that Shin would be serving a seven and a half year sentence for the crimes he committed. While this scammer has admitted that he wants to serve his time to make amends for his crimes, it doesn't look like he'll be able to return their money. It's rumored that he drained his accounts to keep up a lavish lifestyle, unlike the crypto scammer at the end of the video who was lying to her investors that she was buying mining equipment. Boy, that's an interesting story. Stick around for it. Roger Nils Jonas Carlson The next entry on our list is the story of a Swedish man who was wanted by the United States Justice Department, who was eventually found in Thailand. Roger Nils Jonas Carlson is one of the longest-running crypto scammers we've talked about whose schemes started all the way back in 2011. During an eight-year stint, Carlson defrauded over 3,500 people. He was able to convince several victims to purchase shares of his company, Eastern Metal Securities, with cryptocurrency. It's reported that he was able to scam more than $16 million. None of the money investors sent him went towards their shares. Instead, it was used to fund his lavish lifestyle, which included a resort in Thailand. Carlson was able to keep this scheme going by providing investors with account statements. If anyone asked about their money, he would make excuses for the delays. One of his most commonly used excuses was that he was sorting things out with the Securities and Exchange Commission. He was arrested in 2019 and his trial was the following year in March of 2020. Carlson pled guilty to all counts of money laundering as well as securities and wire fraud. He's sentenced to serve 15 years in prison. As part of his sentence, he also had to give up several of his properties, including his resort in Thailand. Heather Morgan and Ilya Lichtenstein On February 8, 2022, Heather Morgan and Ilya Lichtenstein were arrested for their attempt to launder $4.6 billion US worth of Bitcoin. This incident dates back to a scam they pulled in 2016 when they hacked Bitfinex. When they originally hacked Bitfinex, they stole 119,754 Bitcoins. At the time, this was worth approximately $72 million. To any normal person, that sounds like a lot, but the value of Bitcoin has grown at a tremendous rate. Now it's worth approximately $4.5 billion. Since there isn't evidence directly linking the couple to stealing the Bitcoin, they have only been charged with conspiracy to launder stolen Bitcoin. This is where the story has a positive turnaround for the people they ripped off. When police raided their apartment in Manhattan, they were able to recover $3.6 billion of the exchange that was stolen. They had a warrant to search Liechtenstein's cloud account, which is how they found all the evidence. The couple tried to hide the Bitcoin through multiple complex transactions. Some of the Bitcoin was recovered from a section of the dark web that was shut down in 2017 called Alpha Bay and several private wallets. Both Morgan and Litchfield are facing up to 25 years in prison. Litchfield is currently in jail and Morgan is out on a $3 million bail. The couple is in talks about a plea negotiation. They were supposed to appear in court on June 3, 2022, but the court postponed the trial to August 2, 2022, due to the fact that they need more time to sort through the heavy volume of financial records linked to this case. Ethan Van Nguyen and Andre Marcus Quidolin Lacuna One of the biggest scams that investors have to look out for is the rug pull, which is exactly what our scammers did. A rug pull is when the developer presents a cryptocurrency project to an investor, accepts their payment, and pulls out of the project. Ethan Van Nguyen and Andre Marcus Quidoan Lacuna conned investors out of $1.1 million worth of NFTs using this trick. When Frosties launched in January of 2022, it caught a lot of attention. These were adorable ice cream scoop NFT cartoon images. They released 8,888 characters on OpenSea and they all sold out within an hour. Investors flocked to these NFTs because they were promised access to a metaverse game that was packed with exclusive perks. 
However, Nguyen and Lakuna were quick to abandon Frosties and transfer all the investors' money to their own wallets. They completely shut down the website and Discord, leaving everyone in the dark. Nguyen and Lakuna were in their glory with their newfound fortune and also mapping out their plan for their next scheme. Luckily, the law force works faster than they do. Both crypto scammers were arrested on March 24, 2022. The arrest was perfect timing. This scammer duo already had another project in the works called Embers. It was set to launch only two days after their arrest. Police caught them just in time before more people got duped. They're looking at up to 20 years in jail for charges of wire fraud and money laundering. Bruce Bizet and Samuel Mendez Some crypto scammers take advantage of investors while others scam the government. Bruce Bizet and Samuel Mendez are two crypto scammers that did both. Bizet and Mendez were the founders of the cryptocurrency company Bitquick. The company raised $24 million US from investors. They were able to lure in approximately 130,000 investors who fell for their fake promises. Bitquick offered a new type of cryptocurrency, whose value was supposed to increase with time. Instead of following through with their promises, Bizet and Mendez started living an extravagant lifestyle. They moved into more expensive housing, bought luxury cars, and splurged on things like artwork and casino nights. Once they had the money, they stopped caring about what was going to happen to their investors. However, this duo wasn't the brightest of scam artists. Anyone who makes money from cryptocurrency is legally required to pay their taxes. Once these two were arrested and charged in August of 2021, more secrets of this scam were uncovered. Every investor was excited to see how their investment was going to grow. The investors got a Bitqui token and were promised that would give them a tenth of the stock share for Bitquick. However, this wasn't the case as they never distributed the shares to anyone with a token, and they didn't have plans to either. The pair was arrested in August of 2021 and later charged in October of 2021. Each member of this scam served 50 months in prison for a combined total of eight years. Nate Chastain When it comes to cryptocurrency, there's no guarantee that an investment is safe. This prevents many people from going near it even though they are interested in it. One good thing to come of the Nate Christine case is that it shows crypto scammers just how serious the consequences of their scams really are. NFTs have exploded in popularity, and Chastain took advantage of that. This scammer got access to confidential information about the NFTs that were going to be featured on OpenSea's homepage. He then went around and purchased them at a discount price. Once they were in demand, he sold them for two to five times as much. When it was discovered what Chastain was doing, OpenSea asked him to leave the platform. A lot of people believe this scam was wrong, but they don't believe that what he did was as bad of a scam as a rug pull or embezzlement. That's why they were shocked to hear what his punishment is. The Department of Justice is taking all crypto crimes very seriously. Chastain was sentenced to 40 years in prison for money laundering and wire fraud. NFTs don't have securities, which puts investors at risk. This is part of the reason why law enforcement agents are cracking down so hard on all related crimes. Even though Chastain's count of fraud may seem small compared to others on this list, his punishment shows anyone who is considering ripping off investors what can really happen. John and Jonathan Barksdale One of the most devious crypto scams on our list is the case of Ormius Coin. Siblings John and Jonathan Barksdale are a case of snake oil salesmen in a world of social media. They promoted Ormius Coin, which was an unregistered security. The siblings claimed that their security was backed by one of the world's largest crypto mining platforms. This attracted a lot of high-end retail investors. While they started this gig in 2017, they eventually abandoned Ormius Coin in 2019. The weird part is, they kept convincing investors to fall for their offers. They would use social media to lure people in. However, John took things a step further. He would go on roadshows to promote the lies and fraudulent offers. This allowed him to take advantage of people all over the world. Throughout this fraud operation, the siblings scammed investors out of $124 million. However, their crimes were put to an end. On March 8, 2022, both siblings were charged separately. It has been reported that John will serve 65 years in prison for the crime, but there has been no reports on if Jonathan is serving jail time. John's serving a longer sentence because he traveled around and convinced people to invest in his fraudulent scheme. It's believed that Jonathan was hit with lighter charges than her brother because she was only responsible for posting on social media. Eddie Alexandre Eddie Alexandre was able to lure a lot of inexperienced investors in with his scam with an offer that sounded good enough to be true. When this scam artist launched in MinFX, he claimed to have over 30 years of investment experience. He told investors that this Forex trading platform could grow their investments by 5-10% to 10 each week. 
To make sure the investors wouldn't expect a thing, Alexandre made up fake statement balances. This kept investors off his trail while he splurged on an expensive lifestyle. He was able to con investors out of $59 million. By the time this scam artist was caught, he had spent over $15 million of the investors' money. Over $170,000 of that money went towards his luxury car collection. When Alexandre was originally arrested in May of 2022, it was expected that he would serve 10 to 20 years prison time. It was announced in June that he was released in June on bail. However, this is under the condition that he serves monitored house arrests 24 hours a day. He is also sentenced to paying all charges for the cost of location monitoring. This is not the final say as this case is still ongoing. However, many people who did get scammed by Alexandre are worried that he might be getting off too lightly. During his time on house arrest, all of this scam artist's travel documents have been confiscated and he is prohibited from using any type of cryptocurrency. Mana Jumuang Always be aware of a self-proclaimed guru. That's exactly what people should have expected when they came across Mana Jumuang, who claimed to be a cryptocurrency guru. He was the owner of OneCoin and convinced many eager investors that they could get high returns investing in his platform. Some of Jumu Wang's claims sounded way too good to be true, such as get a 400% return in as little as 200 days. At first, everything was going as planned. Jumu Wang was paying dividends to his investors without any hassles. It wasn't until the investments hit 50 million baht, which is roughly 15 million US dollars, that things changed for the worst. Jumu Wang pulled out and completely ghosted his clients. They started tipping off police when they wanted to know where their money was. This story gets even crazier, as it turned out that Jumu Wang has 14 warrants for his arrest. He was arrested towards the end of December 2021 when he was found in his home in Bangkok. Chet Stajanovic Chet takes us all the way to Canada. Sort of. Chet Stajanovic ran a cryptocurrency scheme from 2019 to 2021. He convinced high-end investors that he was a dealer of crypto mining equipment. His investors believed that their investments were going towards mining machines and hosting services. Little did they know, Stajanovic was keeping the money and spending it on a luxury lifestyle. He scammed his investors out of over $1.8 million. He had many of these people convinced that he was arranging a facility in a town called Goose Bay in Newfoundland. Eventually, customers began to get very suspicious about what was happening with their investments. To keep them off the trail, he purchased mining equipment off of eBay and Amazon. He would send investors pictures of these props to keep the scheme going. Things started getting rocky for this scam artist when a customer that purchased mining equipment wanted proof of purchase. Since Stajanovic couldn't supply any proof, the customer wanted to see the equipment at the facility. They arranged a trip with Stajanovic to go there, but he abandoned the customer in Buffalo. More investors were becoming suspicious. Stajanovic ended up making up a story that the facility owner went bankrupt and stole all the mining equipment. He continued scamming people until the day of his arrest. He was brought to trial in March of 2022, where it was discovered that he'd lied under oath about where his phone was. He is being convicted of wire fraud and may spend up to 20 years in jail. Now, did you know Young Thug is currently rotting behind bars? Click on this video here to see 10 musicians currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. See you there.